Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I got this awesome comment from Michelle Thomas asking if I could do a review on this property in San Francisco and of course I can. Thank you so much for the comment. If you guys want me to review a property or a specific city, please comment down below and I will jump in and give you my opinion. So now this is San Francisco right here. Now I'm gonna tell you just before I jump into the property, I wanna tell you that this part on the top is usually the most expensive part. This is more of less like the downtown area but you're gonna see this whole top part is where you know some incredibly expensive homes are very very nice this is the golden gate right here this is the bay bridge right here that takes you over to oakland and for all you pixar fans i think pixar is like right around here somewhere anyway so this house that we're going to look at right now where is it this is kind of like in the southern part really close to the beach one thing just to note that the closer you are to the beach, the colder it gets. And I know you guys might think like, okay, like you're crazy. Like this is not even, this is just a few miles right here to go on, a, go on across. But really, like if you come here and, and any, basically in the summer or any time, you, if you're on this side, on the east side, it's, it could be 10, 15 degrees uh, warmer than on the beach side. The beach side gets super cold. And, you know, further, if you cross over to Oakland, and you know Berkeley, it's it could be even warmer on this side than than uh, San Francisco in general. So this house is like right, like sort of close to like the beach, kind of nice. Imagine you get on your bike right here. There's some nice parks. Uh, this is a really nice area. Again, um, Southern San Francisco is cool. It's not as expensive, but again, the whole city is expensive. So let's go ahead and check out this property. Here it is. So it's 1.3 million bucks. 1,000 square foot, three bedroom, one bath. Okay, so off the bat, it is very expensive house, right? 1.3 million, but again, it's San Francisco. We come to expect prices like this here, right? Um, 1,000 square foot, you know, it's a small house. The bedrooms, I'm gonna tell you, they're gonna be tiny. Again, it's San Francisco. You pay to be in the city. Now, if we look at the pictures, well, one thing, you know, the garage door looks a little bit of work. I mean, you putting a new garage door, if you could afford a $1 million house, I mean, you could definitely, you know, afford a little bit of money and, and, and make it look really pretty, you know, maybe a nice paint job. So again, you know, that's what, that's what you, I would do if, if I was jumping into this house because it does have the bones. Now, if you look inside, floors are really nice. I love the fireplace. Uh, it, it is pretty nice. Um, I mean, I'm not going to lie. It is the inside is looking really, really good. I kind of like how somewhat old school it looks. It does have that, you know, 1900s feel to it. The kitchen looks great. Definitely moving ready. This place is moving ready for sure. Again, I got to stress the price It's 1.3 million bucks. It's a lot of money. Look at this. Wow. How often? Are you going to meet someone to, that's going to tell you that they actually have a yard in San Francisco? This is awesome. Comes with a really nice tree. You could probably do some crazy stuff back here to make it re really, really homey. Um, that's actually kind of nice. Again, it, it's a lot of money in my opinion. Um, but in the city, you know, the city is always going to be expensive. This is like New York City. Um, and I'll tell you that it's somewhat, the location is nice. It is a little bit far from all like the touristy kind of stuff. It is more on the southern side. But again, you get on the BART and you're in that area in no time. Uh, you know, San Francisco is a walking city. Now, if we look in general at other homes in the city, you know, I, have this, I have made another video on San Francisco and there's literally like no price cuts. I have it set to 90 days. Uh, on Zillow and like if you just scroll everything's over a million bucks like look at this uh, 899 it's like 700 square foot one bedroom one bath completely I mean obviously it's really nice moving ready and whatnot it's really nice but again it's nine hundred thousand dollars it's like an expensive city guys and you know uh, I wanted to show you this check this out the Redfin weekly housing market data does show the median house price really coming down pretty, pretty hard. Look, we've already passed 2021 levels. We've already passed 2022, uh, 2020 levels, and we're about to hit those 2020, uh, 2019 levels. This is actually a really, really good sign. This is a huge crash. I mean, literally, we've lost the average house was selling 
for 1.6, 1. Yeah, 1.6, uh, and now it dropped to 1.4. So 200,000, $250,000 right there difference. This is, it's insane, right? Uh, San Francisco is going into a huge, huge crash. But again, this is a weird, weird city, and not a lot of people can really afford it regardless, you know? I mean, for most of Americans, the prices would have to drop, you know, 80% for uh, for them to really be able to afford the city, and that's never going to happen. Let me just tell you something. There's a lot of jobs in this little area right here, okay? It, it might not be a big area, okay? But there's a lot of money being made right here from the businesses that are doing business here. Again, San Francisco is the real deal. It is, you know, this whole area is very, very populous. And then San Jose is right here, basically Silicon Valley. Again, this is, you know, people go here and make a bunch of money, you know, working for Google, and then they come out here and buy a beautiful little home in San Francisco. That's just the way it is. If you're rich from, Chinese businessman, you're doing a lot of business here, uh, you know, in the porch and whatnot. Yeah, you're most likely going to have something here. People from all over the world want to live in this little nook right here. And that's why prices are what they are. If you could get in, it's amazing, right? It's an amazing place, but very, very expensive. And they've been in the news lately, right? It's not been positive. Uh, it's, they've had a lot of uh, issues with homeless and whatnot. And, you know, look, it's it's getting kind of crazy. Um, here, I wanted to show you this. I found, before I end this video, look, watch this. I found the house right here. I just kind of popped up. Hold on one second. Don't go anywhere. You're not going to want to miss this house. Where was it? It was something like $30 million or something like that. Right here. No, that's 2.3. Like I said, on the northern part, look how expensive it gets. Shoot, I missed it. Uh, where is it? Eight million, eight million, ten million. Look at that, ten million bucks. You guys want to see what ten million dollars gets you in San Francisco? Look, you get to live next to Nancy Pelosi right here. Wow, what a house! Insane. A lot of people, um, you know, forget that like one thing is buying the house the other part is furnishing you can't have a 10 million dollar home with some crappy furniture you better have some nice stuff right this house is absolutely insane um this is the type of house that you have servants and <laughs> i call them servants i'm sorry uh what are they called uh employees home employees um you know nannies maids uh the whole nine yards you have dog walkers i mean you have employees chefs, whatever, if you could afford 10 million bucks, man, you definitely are going to have a crew of people working this house, always cleaning, you know, making sure your tea is nice and warm. Yeah, pretty nice. So basically, that's what $10 million gets you. This is what here, sorry, let's click on this one, 19 million bucks, uh, 7,000 square foot. Again, this is, this is what happens when you invent like the iPhone, you get to live right here. Crazy, huh? All right, so I'm, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed that house that we toured. And um, to the realtor, Michelle, uh, Michelle, right, Michelle, I hope that uh, you sell that house and uh, I hope it goes good and I hope you make your commission and I hope you make a bunch of money. I wanna say if you guys want me to make a video on a specific city, house, property, and it could be anywhere in the world, please comment down below and I will jump in and I'll do make a video and I'll give you my opinion. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, if you're new, new to my videos and you like my stuff, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button and go ahead and like and leave a comment. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video.